Shalom. I want to show real quick that there is no W in the ancient Hebrew. There is a W in the modern Hebrew, but in the ancient Hebrew, there was no letter of W and other letters also. But I want to focus more on the W because many people use this in the Hebrew uh, language and they believe they don't understand that the W was another letter like the J that was invented later on. Now, this letter W, it actually it came from the Hebrew word with the two U's in it, U-A-U. -U. And what they did, they took, um, it was around the 7th and 8th century that they that they done this. And you have two U's or two V's, and then they came up with the W. And actually, that's that's how it derived. Double U, two U's or two V's beside each other. And you have um, the Vav and modern day Wa. And so this is how it got incorporated into the Hebrew words. And any word that has this W in it, of course, is what we call the Yiddish. It's, it's not... It's not the true Hebrew. Um, another thing, it really, it came about the 7th, 8th century, like this says here on Wikipedia. And it didn't gain popularity until the 1300. So that's when it, it, it really, it picked up steam. But you can see here um, that this, is, this was definitely, it's not ancient Hebrew. Now, this is... Um, this is the letter here, and you see the modern, it, it has the wa, and this is what it looks like. This is the a, a form of it here and here. These are di different ways of, of writing it. This is supposed to be the paleo, but it's, it's, it's off, it's off a little. Some of what the paleo, when you see in paleo, it's not the original paleo it was changed um different ways now i'm gonna show you the letters here okay this is the the father's name here and this is the true letter right here uau so they took the two u's put them beside each other and they make the w and here you see the valve and the wa now when you take the u off and put the w in place this is how some people say the father's name. They say Yahweh with the W. And there is no W sound in the father's name. And not only, you know, this is the, one of the most important reasons why you need to understand and you shouldn't be using a W in any, uh, any letter, any words that's in the Hebrew because, it's again, it's going to distort it. And it's going to it's going to make something other than what it's supposed to be. And you're going to be calling on, you know, the, the wrong name. You're going to be calling uh, you're going to be saying wrong words. A lot a lot of people love to. I mean, it's just incorporated in many different words in Hebrew, but it was just put there on purpose to distort. There's only 22 letters. In the ancient Hebrew and what what happens when they went to add all these other letters, that's why the English alphabet uh, has more than the Hebrew. These letters were added. All, all of our alphabets, um, it doesn't matter. It all of it originated from the Hebrew. So just a heads up here concerning the letter W. There is no W in the ancient. Anyone that's using this word in Hebrew, it's not. It's Yiddish Hebrew. You know, whether they know it or not, it, it is Yiddish Hebrew. But uh, that letter, U-A-U, -U, it has the U sound, just like in the word Tura. There's no W in Tura. It's, it's, it's Tura. It's what it is. And it, it's no W sound. And that's, again, that's how they come up with this Yahawa, Yahushua, and even the son's name. Uh, they say Yahoshua. You still you're using this W, and this is it's definitely Yiddish, and they leaving out the true sound. 
Yahuwah and Yahusha. Once you do that, you have another name. And this, you know, this Y-A-W-E-H, you know, this, this is another mighty one. This is, it changes the name. You don't went from the creator to creation. And that's who a lot of people are calling on. They're not calling on the creator, but they're calling on his creation. And that's, that's error. Shalom.